Hello, I am known as the living room by many of you, but I'm talking to you today about an interesting topic, tethering the iPhone. You've probably heard it before, you've probably uh, maybe maybe seen it done, maybe you thought it was too much of a hassle. The biggest problem that I faced with tethering, and I use a PC, Windows PC for, you know, for my desktop and my laptop, the biggest problem I faced with tethering was that ad hoc is notoriously unreliable. Uh, so the solution was I went on eBay and I bought this pocket access point. No hub, no router, just an access point. Uh, it's an Asus brand. It's the WL330G. It's 802.11G, so it's, you know, it's going to be definitely fast and everything. Plus, the best part is it runs off of USB. Why is that the best part? Because Radio Shack, pardon me here, Radio Shack sells this wonderful USB battery. So now I have a battery-powered access point that I can shove in my pocket. I mean, the thing is, is tiny. So with this access point, I plug it in, you know, it, it, it'll plug right into your Ethernet adapter, right on your, right on your laptop here, right there, yeah. And uh, so my laptop has one configuration where I just, I enable the wired connection, disable the wireless, and bam, I'm hooked up to my pocket network. Uh, then when I'm ready to go back to the home or some other, you know, public Wi-Fi access point, I just click back over, turn off the wired connection, turn on the wireless connection, and I'm ready to go. So what I've had to do, of course, I installed Tiny Proxy on the iPhone, which has been giving me some fits lately, but I think I've got it stabilized. The biggest issue I see here is that uh, Edge and Wi-Fi don't like to coexist. They one will drop, you know, if it thinks it has a good Wi-Fi connection, it'll just drop the Edge, especially if signal strength is low, is higher, and so that can be a pain. But it's 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 manageable, and I'll talk about techniques for that some other time. Uh, also, since I have an access point, I can run multiple devices, uh, not the least of which is the wonderful Nokia N800 tablet, a Linux Debian-powered uh, tablet here, and you can see my Star Trek interface. So this is Google. This is piped right through the access point, right straight to my iPhone uh, with socks uh, for proxy, you know. Uh, the best part about something like this is it supports the little little application called T-Socks, which can emulate a socks environment for TCP IP applications that don't normally support that. So you can do things like WebGet or ping and uh, or through a SOX proxy of all things. Probably some of you uh, Linux Unix geeks out there think I'm <laughs> silly for bringing this up. But uh, that and uh, it's really a very stable system. Um, here at the house, you know, I've got a good signal. Out on the road, like uh, if the severe storm comes through, you know, I'll find an underground parking. Uh, you know, of course, signal strength uh, loss on the edge modem uh, equates to a slower speed downloading, but I can still get my radar images and keep up with storms and things like that. Uh, plus, while I'm at work, the real key here is while I'm at work, I work in a call center, so uh, while I'm at work, I get very bored. Uh, you know, I know how to tell everybody how to do everything. So while I'm just from memory teaching them how to do whatever they need to do, uh, I can sit here and browse the web. I can, yeah, and of course, the N800 supports Flash 9 and, and all sorts of things. It's, it's a rather cool device. Uh, but it's definitely doable, and I welcome you know comments. And if you need help doing it, I can certainly help you. Um, it's it's actually very very simple. Of course, you just need the jailbroke iPhone and uh, the installer application, and uh, you can pretty much just go from there. It's fairly easy. I also recommend um, the the DNS install that I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but he made the the Z iPhone uh, jailbreak program. Uh, he has kind of a, a tutorial, kind of a how to. And honestly, I use that to get started. And uh, he suggests installing DNS on the iPhone, which is something I recommend as well. I did that, and it improved a lot of things, a lot of response times and things like that. So definitely worth looking into. Anyway, um, leave some comments and tell me what you think.